New detail from an independent audit shows Metro's poor safety practices. From malfunctioning trains to poorly conducted inspections, this morning WMATA under fire for neglecting safety guidelines. Let's get to Mel outside of the Hinesville Crossing Station with more. Mel? Well, Steve, you know there were some positives and negatives in this report. It specifically looked at maintenance and engineering for the rail cars, the ones that people ride in every single day uh, since last summer. And among the findings, certainly some that are concerning. The report says that one in five of the daily rail car inspections are not 100 percent following procedures. Talking about mechanics skipping steps or doing them out of order. Steps checked off as being completed but never carried out. Inconsistent logs of hazards with rail cards and personnel. Delays in reporting that sometimes had trains with safety issues remaining in service. Protocols to protect Metro personnel from workplace injuries not always followed. And personnel being trained on outdated procedures. Passengers here this morning told us they feel pretty confident riding the system, but they do expect that procedures are followed. Both of them not doing their work. Because you're supposed to look over those people that have to do their work. They need to do what they have to do, like every day, to make the passenger or whoever traveling safe. Well, as someone who's ridden Metro Rail for 35 years, almost on a daily basis, I'm confident in the excellent job they do. At the same time, it's wonderful that we have um, organizations that are monitoring uh, metro rail outside of metro rail. Now, in a statement to Fox 5, WMATA says we are reviewing the WMSC's report and will take appropriate action upon completion of our review. The audit did commend Metro for some positive steps, including uh, the development of new digital tools to detect quickly when wheel sets need to be taken out of service and better communication of safety alerts, saying that those things have reduced, mitigated the risk. The agency has 30 days to respond to the report and also come up with corrective action plans for each one of the findings. We also learned that the oldest of the 2000 series rail cars, they were retired this month.